Hey YouTube, it's Chuck. Let's go do some unprotected left turns. Hey Twitter, to you too. Here we go. Let's see. So far I've done one or two UPLs and it seems like the behavior is better. Perhaps some new uh, creeping. Uh, I think it's going into the left turn okay though. So let's see here, it needs to stop right there. Got a decent amount of traffic to wait for. Right here, see that creep again. It did that again, just a little tap uh, of, of, you know, off the brakes. Got some sporadic gaps here it needs to wait for. It's perfect opportunity is after two more cars and it looks like it's gonna be a great 100% uh, roller. Go for it, all the way. Nice little gap there, don't pause. Oh no, it went to the middle lane again. Okay, well that's why we do different uh, tests to, to make sure we verify the behavior. So going into the middle lane, there was no cars, but I don't think it's the right thing to do. It needs to just go into the adjacent lane, turn your blinker over and, and come here. And the reason is because if it doesn't see a fast approaching car, uh, crossing those lanes is not what it should be doing. Okay, let's, uh, let's try a couple more. All right, round two. First one went into the middle lane after crossing the street, making good decisions. Nice stop there. Creep limit. It needs to go if it's going to go. All right, let's see if it waits in the median. And it did not wait in the median. And wow, see how it crosses all the way into that middle lane? Okay, it made a good decision. It's getting across. It didn't need to stop in the median that time. But this middle lane behavior, I wish I could understand why why it's doing that. To get it to do that, it's obviously required training or part of this new uh, lane network logic. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep doing some more. Round three. Let's see what we got here. We're going to creep around the corner. Some cars here wide open to the left and to the right shouldn't even stop come on go to the left lane <laughs> no it's gonna go to the middle lane again uh low traffic scenario I, i'm really hoping for some approaching traffic from the right that might force me to go into that left lane because definitely when it's wide open uh, and it hasn't stopped in the median yet either it's a saturday midday here on memorial day weekend the traffic density is just a little bit low not being a work day we'll try some more Right, round four, if I'm not mistaken. All right, good stop. And it's wide to the left. Oh, we are just making it easy on it today. Well, but it is being very consistent about that middle lane. Uh, when I say making it easy on it, this is a, a it's got the function down uh, very well traffic interaction and the variability that that provides is is the thing that sometimes I'm, I'm looking for round five needs to wait well don't go there stop okay so that was God, I feel like I'm way out there. I do have a car right behind me. It can't really go on any of these gaps. Okay, there's one more car coming, and if it gives me the adequate acceleration, I'm gonna let it go. Go, come on, give me the, okay, now it's gotta go to the median. And it stopped for that car. Now it can go. Oh, it's waiting on the, okay, and, and look at that. And because of that car, it went into the left lane for the first time. So that is an interesting scenario. It paused in the median, which is another difference, and then it decided to join the closest lane when there was a car in the furthest lane. It could have gone in the middle lane also. It was clear, but maybe that one car changed its logic. So, hey, a little bit of a different data point there. Let's try again. All right, this time I do have a car, a lead car, that uh, just pulled off to the right. A little bit different scenario, but it's now clear. Now I just need to ooch out to my creep point. See what the traffic is this time. Needs to wait. Okay, got 
three, four, five cars to go. Car behind me again. And another small gap. No, that's a, it's a large gap. It should just go all the way. And roll the median. It's wide open to the right. And look at that jump straight into the median again, or the middle lane. So that was interesting. So if you look back behind me as I pull this camera up, you can see in my back left lane there was a car, but he was far in the distance and accelerating. I don't think it jumped into this lane because of him, based on the number of times uh, it's already jumped in the middle lane. Man, this is fun. I lost track now. Six, maybe? Seven? Maybe you guys can help me. All right, let's see what we got here. It needs to wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, good. Nice. Good creeping spot. I got a lot of traffic coming. This would be a great one for a, a distance measuring. I don't have my laser range finder with me because I'm driving, but it's uh, it's got a good view. It pulled out far enough. You can see the creep limit's in a good location. Now, there's a very small gap here. I, I really don't want it to go for. Oh, is it going to give me a boost? Golly, that was crazy. It went for that. But it went into the middle lane again, and okay. That one I let go a little further than I'm normally comfortable because it was accelerating without any brake taps. That car, I think, probably had to hit his brakes a little bit, which isn't the end of the world, but it is also another example of the trajectories that's being calculated seem to be pretty accurate. But as a safety driver, Gosh, you know, you, there's just a, a, a few milliseconds to make a decision on whether or not you need to take over or let it ride. Uh, that one I let ride and it did just fine. Jumped into the middle lane again, but it did that without stopping in the median. So, wow, lots to talk about on that one. And, uh, but I gotta admit, it's knocking them out of the park today in what I would call light to uh, slightly medium traffic. Okay. Here we go again. This is, uh, I lost count plus one. I keep telling you what the numbers are so you guys don't think I'm cutting any clips out. But uh, who knows, you guys might think I'm cherry picking. Let's see. Stop. Okay, this is gonna be easy. Two big trucks, easy to see. And it might be a little bit different from the right because now we have cars coming. It's gonna go, now it, it needs to go into the median. Okay. So now I'm gonna to try to give you a right rear view. Don't go out there, gosh. It's in the median and now it's all clear after that car. And it went into the left lane. Okay, that's actually a repeatable behavior. Both times it stopped in the median, it went into the left lane. Every time it never stopped in the median, it went into the middle lane. Maybe the stopping in the median and getting that approach angle to, to get the pose in the median is part of joining the left lane. So maybe it's part of the arc or the trajectory it's taking through the median and it would be too sharp of a turn to join the left lane with the pose it's using uh, before. Anyway, that's two stops. Um, that's probably all I'm gonna do today. I think uh, I'll probably, that was eight, nine, something like that. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is a FSD beta version 11.4.2, unprotected left turns. Have a great day, everybody.